Hi everyone, it's Janet and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you part two of the tutorial I started a few days earlier. The first tutorial, which I'll put a link for at the end of this video and in the video description, shows you how to use the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill system with the Brother Scan and Cut. It also shows you how to use a thumb drive or design drive to create a design using the foil quill system. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use one of those designs and fill it in so that it's got a solid image instead of just an outline. And it's really a great uh, feature to have in the Brother Scan and Cut, and I can't wait to show it. I think you're going to love it. Hi, it's Janet, and welcome to my channel. This is where you can be inspired, learn new techniques, and pick up some new tips and tricks. Get started by subscribing and clicking on the bell. All right, so I've set up my mat here over the paper with the washi tape. We're all ready to go. Now the design I'm gonna bring in this time is also from the same Paige Evans uh, stick that I brought in that beautiful flower arrangement in with. So I'm going to start here and go to pattern again. I'm gonna to go to save data because it is saved. It's not on my machine, it's on my USB. So I'm gonna press that. I'm gonna to go to the SVG images. And then by playing around with it, I know that what I want is icons right here. And I'm going to go down to the paper airplane. Paper plane. And there it is. It's too small right now, so I'm going to enlarge that a bit. I'll go to the edit. Hit this, which changes the shape or the size. And I'm going to make this about 1.75 inches high. Okay, there we go. Now I need to scan my mat in so I can make sure to place this plane in the right position. So let me get some stuff out of the way here. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Then I need to press my mat button which is going to that, that loads my mat in and now I'm going to scan so this is going to scan where I have my foil and go ahead And so I see that it's not quite in the right position. I'm going to select it, move it a little bit, and hit OK. Well, actually, I need to uh, I need to shift the position a little bit so that it fits on my rectangle shape. So I'm going to hit the sh uh, manipulate manipulate the shape and size. But down here we have something that indicates rotation, and so I'm just going to shift it a little bit two times I'm shifting the rotation now let's make sure it is on there properly and yes we can see that it is on the foil now and it won't be putting part of it off because it's tilted a little bit too much to the left or whatever alright this point we can hit OK and I need to go back to this manipulate like the size and stuff with the new update you can choose this. This is the fill-in mode and it's meant for your pen. And you can see now, hopefully, let me enlarge, that it has filled in part of that airplane. And conveniently left some of it. Now it looks a little bit like it's holy or it's not, you know, covered everything evenly, but it turns out it does cover everything. I think this is just a graphic limitation on the screen. So we're ready to go. I've loaded the machine. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit draw. Very important. And of course I've loaded here. Let me pull it out. I've loaded my wide nib. There are three uh, sizes. We have fine, medium, and wide. The first version that I showed you as my sample with the plane, that was done with the medium nib. I thought it would be fun to see what the wide would do. Although the, the, you know, the medium nib worked 
beautifully, just the same. But this will take about a minute to do. We'll hit start. And what I find is if you wrap this up and give enough room here to move, that kind of is the best option that I've discovered for handling the cord on the foil nib. So it is filling in those wings right now. the big reveal. I'm anxious to see too how, how different this might look. Ooh. Okay. Pull that away. All right guys, here are the two images again that we did. I think they really turned out wonderfully. Both are great um, and really happy with them. So again, this is a, a neat feature of the fill that you can get with the Brother Scan and Cut, which I think sets it apart a little bit from the Cricut. If you can do this with the Cricut, I don't know how yet. And so maybe there is. If you guys know and use a Cricut, maybe you could uh, put that in the comments and give me some tips on that one. But in any case, this will conclude this tutorial and if you saw this and you didn't see the one where I made this beautiful drawing, uh, go ahead and check that out. I'll have it up in the right hand corner for you. Well, that'll do it for me today. I will be back soon, but until then, as always, keep crafting guys. Bye! Thanks for joining me here today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Keep the fun going and click on one of the videos on this screen. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the video description. Have a great week!